Can you hear me? Yeah. Blige the Boxing with Frank Warren and Queensbury with Mark Chamberlain, the dog father, as you might recall. Here in a slightly unusual setting at the Peacock Gym. Uh, Mark, how are you, mate? Yeah, all good. Just no dogs around here, though. Not mm. in the gym. I think, were you glad to get rid of them? Yeah, they're a nightmare, as you know. Mm, only Especially one of nine of them. Mm. Chasing around your feet, weeing, pooing, eating, sleeping, and same again, really. So. How's uh, mother dog Peggy? Is she sort of uh, recovered? Yeah, she's all good. She's back to her normal self now. Uh, so she's still got one of them at home, my brother's one. Obviously, he's moving out shortly. Do they get on, do they? Yeah, yeah. Funny enough, they do get on the best out of all of them. Always in sharing a bed with each other. And it is what it is, isn't it, with them? Excellent. So when's the uh, poodle getting bred? Uh, she's still a baby at the minute. Uh, she'll be actually she'll be a year old in March, I believe. So I don't know. Maybe in the summer. Who knows? <laughs> See what happens. Right. In other news, um, we're here because your brother Jamie is um, going to make his Queensbury debut on a prospect show on March 10th, is it? Uh, I'm not sure on a date, but I just know it's March. So, so um, tell us a little bit about Jamie. I mean, he's about three, four, and oh, same weight as you, I believe. Come yeah, uh, no, I think he's a super featherweight, or he could make featherweight. He's a bit smaller than me. Um, yeah, no, I think. How many fights has he had? Three. Three, isn't it? Three or four, I think he's had. Um, but it was quite unlucky because obviously COVID hit. Not much happened. No one was doing shows apart from obviously Frank and mm. other promoters that are televised. Um, and then we, I think going back to when we went up to the landmark to have a little yeah. meeting about uh, a about couple you. of contracts mm. and that. And Jamie come along. And we all sat down, had a little meeting and Frank said, was everyone happy? I think it was my dad went, no. Frank went, what's up? Is there anything we can do for Jamie? And I don't think Frank even knew that he was he was a boxer or done boxing. He said, don't worry, I'll send you a contract in the post in a couple of days time, you're on. And then, yeah, he got with Frank and here we are today in the Peacock Gym for a bit of media for his debut, no, Queensbury debut in March. I understand he's quite different to you as a fighter. Maybe explain the sort of a, He's Mr. Nice Guy. Um, in, obviously, you've got a job to do when you're in the ring. You can be Mr. Nice Guy out the ring. But I feel as if now that he's had it drummed into his head that they're in there to hurt you, you've got to hurt them. The amount of times... It's like me and him are spar, and they're trying... Well, we'll just go hammer and tongs on each other. Whereas if someone else come down to sparring... I, I know sparring, you're having each other out, but he would give a bit too much respect but that person is not giving it back. So you have to just tell him to stay on them, stay on them, hurt them, stay on them. Because if, if, if you're in a fight, that you hurt them. I guess, yeah, I mean, I've got that, I'm just a complete different person, but I've got that killer instinct, if you know what I mean. And I, he's got it there somewhere, but you've got to really wind him up to get it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's funny how he just clearly, he doesn't, he doesn't like you, so he just... But yeah, he'd, try, he'd take any opportunity to beat me up, I suppose, sparring or whatever, but... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I feel as if everyone works hard in this game and nothing's given to you. And you're getting there and I'm sure you'll do the business and get the ball rolling and get on to bigger and better things in time to come. But is it fair to say he is more of a technician than you? Yeah, but he's strong as well. Very strong. Um, I don't know in the likes of featherweights and super featherweights, but is definitely up there with the power maybe not the boxing ability just yet but it all comes with time but it, it'll get there and i truly believe there'll be a few stoppages on the way mm. nice for you to sort of be in this together now isn't it yeah because it was I, quite a thing when you were obviously doing what you do and he was struggling to sort of get a, you know a date on a non-tv show it was, it was a little bit odd it's nice to bring you together definitely i mean it's like the boys that box on the, the small hall shows, like you know you've got to sell loads of tickets before you get paid. And obviously with Frank, you've still got to sell your tickets and that, but it's a little bit of stress off your shoulders because you, you're still getting paid regardless whether you sell one ticket or 100 tickets or 300 tickets. You're still getting paid. So that's the main thing. And it's a lot of hard work and dedication and time and effort to get nothing out of it. I know it's not all about the money, but you just got to get in there and do what you've got to do, I suppose, and climb the rankings and get to the top. 
Right, back to you briefly. Um, you were back at the Queensbury offices a couple of weeks ago and I uh, understand now you are the proud owner of a, a new long-term bumper rich contract. Yeah, um, yeah went out and see Frank, uh, renewed the contract, uh, got a few things put in place for the next few fights, new three-year contract, so yeah, hopefully get the ball rolling a bit more. Not, not that it hasn't been rolling as such for me, I've been lucky to get out in COVID, but I'm ready to push on now. I truly believe I can get to the top and I won't stop until I do. So, so what was said? What's, what's the sort of short, short term or immediate plan for you? Um, my next fight was due to be, I think it was like the middle of March. No, it was actually Feb 12th of February, I think. And then it got cancelled because of COVID and that. Uh, they didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and then I'm um, supposed to be boxing again in March, um, hopefully for a title. Um, they're just like, finalising whatever title it is for at the minute like, as I know as much as you do on that uh, but yeah no, I'm, I've stepped up to 10 rounders now and I'm ready to push on So it really is all systems go now titles, 10 rounds, the works Yeah um, yeah. like I say from next fight onwards that's it, there's 10 rounders and there's no going back get a, get a title under my belt and then uh, yeah let's, let's just go, keep pushing and pushing and climbing that mountain I bet you can't wait to get Glenn because you, you lost a date at the end of the year, you got ill didn't you? Yeah I think I was just saying to Uma, or was it you, I can't remember, um, I was supposed to box in, I think it was September or was that October. that prospect show wasn't it, on the Friday? Yeah. yeah, and then I ended up getting like a chest infection and my, I'd wake up, I never get nosebleeds, even in sparring, I'd wake up in the morning and I'd get nosebleeds, obviously head pressure, and then um, yeah, I had to pull out. It just weren't worth getting in the ring, not 100%. So. I thought you were going, wasn't it? Yeah, I was because I knew that the shows in December were full up as well, but it's not worth getting in there if you're 95%. You've got to be 100% because, like people know, boxing ain't no game. And then you need to go in there 100% or don't go in there at all. You still got your holiday in there, didn't you? Yeah, do you know what? I had the holiday booked in up for after my fight, I think I was fighting on the Friday or the Saturday and I had a holiday booked for Monday and I paid for it so it was either don't go on holiday or go on holiday so I went on holiday so I just had to recover out in the sun for a week and then come back. Who did you good actually? Yeah. How many holidays was that for the year? Uh, however many fights I had, two or three, I try and go after every fight really because that's your only time you can relax and recharge your batteries isn't it so I mean before you fight you can't go five weeks before you fight can you because you're obviously training you can't eat what you want so it's something to look forward to after a fight isn't it all right Mark we're all up to date looking forward to the next uh, official announcement which I'm yeah. sure will come well, soon well it keeps getting delayed doesn't it I mean I was supposed to announce it last last month I think and then last week and then it was supposed to be this week. I think there are announcements this week, aren't there? No, it might be next week. I spoke to Francis on the phone. I think he said we could start announcing stuff next week. So We've got a bit of time anyway. So. Yeah. No worries. All right, Mark. Well done, mate. Cheers.